really quick video to talk about a problem that I've been having for well, probably about three or four weeks now. Um, only manifested itself three or four weeks ago, which is very, very strange because uh, what it is is something a lot of people talk about it. Uh, uh, Adobe Premiere crashing and there's videos everywhere online about Adobe Premiere crashing and um, I went through all of them uh, every single one of them and <laughs> not one of them helped me um, got to the end of my, uh, my tether basically what it's doing uh, is crashing when I export and this started uh, when I tried to do some exports for uh, some videos that I was shooting from my other business which is uh, boat hire and boat handover video so we, we tell people how to use the boats where things are things like that and um, for the first time I was shooting in 4k I was shooting 4k but this on this occasion I just wanted them quite small so I was downgrading them to 720p uh, so we had this thing that I wasn't doing before coming into the uh, into the freight and I was imagining actually that that was something to do with the fact that when I was exporting these files they were crashing Premiere uh, and we experienced crashes on Premiere quite a lot uh, particularly working with fonts and things like that and it's a nuisance uh, <coughs> but um, it was doing this all the time I thought well maybe it's because we're overburdening it trying to get down from 4k to 720p uh, just for yeah, smaller video upload sizes and such because I don't have the fastest uh, upload speeds uh, here at the minute I must upgrade that but that's a, a diversion from this um, I then thought well I, we've got to work out what the hell is going on here because it, I just couldn't get a 15 minute a 15 minute video out of Premiere and um, I thought, well, I'll try anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, literally days and days wasted on this. Uh, so I, I shoved everything over to a laptop. It's an i3 with, I think, uh, 8 gig of RAM and um, uh, yeah, no video processor uh, to speak of and such. And uh, it chugged away and it chugged and it chugged. And about two hours later, it exported the file without any problems whatsoever. Yet, uh, yeah, this would chug away for a, a couple of minutes, which is, uh, I'll explain what it is. It's a, um, a Ryzen 5 3 6 00, uh, processor with 16 gig of RAM, uh, 4 gigahertz, no, not 4 gigahertz, 4 megahertz uh, uh, NVIDIA uh, GT 1650 card in it I think uh, it's quite a beefy thing it will run at uh, uh, 4.6 uh, gigahertz uh, processor speed with uh, six cores 12 threads um, yeah it's it's pretty quick um, and I wasn't expecting it to fail with um, uh, this in fact it's the first time it had failed in this and it was re failing repeatedly and um, what I was finding actually is that in, I could export the the, uh, the videos in chunks so I could export maybe the first four or five minutes um, and then the next uh, yeah, five to ten minutes or whatever it happened to be and then I could re-import those exported things into uh, Premiere and then yeah, line everything up and export it as one and it was happy oh, what the bloody hell's going on um, and that's why I was getting these, uh, these videos out I mean it was a really convoluted way and it was taking hours and hours and well <laughs> <laughs> just the other night it kind of got to uh, to a head I'd, I'd done another uh, video uh, ironically these things are to save time uh, at the boatyard when the customers arrive and uh, uh, all it was doing is wasting a whole heap of time uh, late at night at home uh, trying to get these things out and um, it came to a head the other night so I you know I, I've, I've got to work out what the hell's going on here because I can't just keep producing these and uh, and wasting time um, and I just trawled and trawled and trawled and one post, just one post, I think it was on Reddit um, uh, board, happened to mention that they thought the problem that they were experiencing, which is very similar to mine, uh, was being caused by the processor being overwhelmed. Well, how the hell can that be the case? Because this piddly thing here uh, does it quite happily and the, uh, this beefy thing down here does, doesn't. Um, uh, and they they're running on an Intel process, and I thought, well, you know, could be anything, couldn't it? And they've got a, an app on the in, uh, Intel system. Uh, I can't think of the name of it, but it allows you to monitor the processor and slow clock speeds and voltage and such down. And they said that actually, if they got the voltage and processor speeds down from their Macs, it worked absolutely fine. I thought, well, okay, let's try it. So I downloaded the app that they were talking about, and unfortunately, it's only for Intel. This is of course AMD. Um, 
and searched around and found an AMD product that does the job. There'll be links in the description uh, for this stuff. So uh, forgive me if I've forgotten what they are right now as I shoot this video. This is, at the minute is just one take. Hey, it might work, who knows? Um, uh, and I downloaded the AMD version and indeed started monitoring it. And yeah, you should see the spike. You should export this stuff and <laughs> straight up to 100%. And uh, almost immediately the processor temperature just rockets uh, processor doesn't want to work at more than about 95 degrees centigrade and um, yeah immediately it's rocketing up there it's <laughs> it's sky high uh, and um, yeah the, the 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 little line for its uh, uh, for its processor um, uh, what's the word it's not optimization it's the processor use it is why well, it's right up there and it's like okay um, and then premiere starts beginning to chug and that's still really high and really high and all of a sudden it's, you can see it drop down and it's that shortly after that drop down premiere crashes I thought, Ooh, okay so i used the app to reduce the processor speed and voltages and such and it worked it bloody well worked so I think the problem I've got on the, in here is I'm using the stock cooler that come with this uh, AMD processor uh, and I have a uh, big ass cooler uh, that uh, we've ordered uh, and again there'll be a link below, uh, below and I'll, I'll let you know actually later on uh, whether it works probably only in the comments because it will be another dull video if you uh, got to watch through this but I, I do yeah I, I do urge you if you are experiencing a lot of problems with Premiere it could be and it's, it's just a could this is my experience and the experience of one other person I found on Reddit it could be that your processor is becoming overwhelmed and if your processor is becoming overwhelmed it could skyrocket that temperature and it could turn around and say screw that i'm saving the chip and stop give it a try download your uh, uh, processor um, software that monitors what's going on inside it and watch it because if you're experiencing these problems that could be your savior and it might not even cost you anything because my uh, my saving uh, grace on it was I just you know, downgraded what the chip was uh, allowed to max out at in terms of its processor speed and voltages and such and it, it worked bloody well um, so give it a go hope this has been useful if it has I, it, this is one video in uh, a, an awful lot of other videos mostly I'm talking about uh, video creation using things like the Osmo Pocket which we're filming with just just here um, and um, techniques and such with that uh, uh, and um, if that's what you're into great there'll be other videos uh, yeah, I have recently recently got a, a, a cheap Olympus uh, OMD E10 Mark III brilliant thing uh, playing with that I'm going to do some comparisons and we're uh, going to be working with film again for a while I've uh, got a stack of film ordered uh, picked up this Canon AV1 not too long ago uh, to play with uh, I've got an OM20 kicking around and uh, uh, an Olympus trip anyone remember these we're going on holiday soon we're going to stack up a couple of film cameras um, with uh, some um, uh, Kodak Ektar uh, a great uh, a, a great piece of uh, uh, film emulsion and uh, we're going to take the same kind of shots with this we're going to stack them side by side and produce some videos showing you uh, the differences between digital and film and indeed the different disciplines that you have to employ with digital uh, and film because uh, one of the key things and a lot of people who have never played with film won't know this but one of the key things is 36 frames maximum big card in that move three and a half thousand minimum yeah you've got to be selective in what you shoot because it gets expensive to make mistakes watch out for that one please like and subscribe hope this video is useful keep shooting